Rudiman of irregular nouns. These, for we cannot here make a full enumeration of them, may be reduced to the following scheme. So we have here um, irregular nouns, one, defective, two, variable, and three, redundant. Let's run up and look at the defective. We have defective nouns. There are adjectives and substantives. And we have those that are lacking number and those that are lacking cases. So let's have a look at those. Number one, that are lacking number. Singular, as in liberi, minai, arma. And plural, aer, humus, and aewum. Those that are lacking cases, nominative and vocative, Ditionis, genitive, chaos, dative, plus, vocative, ego. And the genitive, dative, and ablative, plural, as in mel. Then we have those that are defective, substantive, lacking, number two, um, cases. We just did that. Or having only three, as in dica, dicam, dicas. Or having only two, as in supetiae and supetias, and having only one, as in dikis and inficias and noctu. Then we have um, adjectives, let's move down here, that are lacking number one, gender, masculine, as in kaitara and kaitarum. Or we have feminine, as in quisquis and quick quid, and neuter, as in compos. Then we have masculine and feminine, as in plus, Masculine neuter as in sicilis, and feminine neuter as in thros. Then we have those lacking, or as it says here, wanting, number. Plural as in unus quisque, and singular as in centum. Those that are lacking case as in nullus, and also uh, tantundem. Or those having the vocative only, as in macte and macti. Then we have variable um, one too much. So in gender, having singular masculine masculine feminine neuter 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 and plural. So we have uh, minalus and minela, and we have locus and loki and loca, and we have carbasus carbasa, kailum kaili, epulum epulai, frainum fraini fraina. And also we have those who have too many declensions, as in delicium delicii, laurus, lauri, and lauras. Or we have was, wasis, wasa, wasorum. Or we have those that have too little, as in indeclinables, completely, fas, or in the singular, cornu. Then we have those that are redundant in termination only, as in Helena and Helene. And gender, tignus, tignum, and in declension, materia, materies. And we have both, aiter, aitra, or those as in uh, gender, as in hic vulgus, and we also have hoc vulgus, and those that are redundant in declension, only as in fames, famis, and of the third, ablative fame of the fifth because the last syllable is always long with the poets. Note 1. That the defective nouns are not so numerous as is commonly believed. Note 2. That those which vary too little may be ranked under the defective, and those which vary too much under the redundant, as in caeli caelorum, comes not from caelum, but from caelus, and wasa wasorum, not from was, wasis, but from wasum, wasi. But custom, which alone gives laws to all languages, has dropped the singular and retained the plural, and so of others.